Six snakes that can kill a tiger easily. Fiery and imposing, aggressive and powerful, tigers have aroused fascination in humans through millennia, but they have also experienced threats in their natural environment as a result of human activities. The tigers have an anatomy with over 600 muscles and a strong bone structure that makes them apex predators in their natural habitat. They can leap more than 30 feet in a single jump, which gives them an advantage when it comes to finding and attacking their prey. And they evolved from their ancestors for almost 2 million years, continuously adapting to their environment. Tigers are ruthless and efficient hunters and lonely walkers. Around them, there is a mythology that puts these cats as symbols of positive values. Strength, fierceness, tenacity, and power. But how there's a yin for every yang, tigers can sometimes be killed by other superpowered animals, such as snakes. So let's find out together which are the six species of snakes that would easily kill a tiger. Number 6. King Cobra Even if a fight between a tiger and a cobra can go either way, if the cobra attacks the tiger first, both will die. Tiger's claws are like grappling hooks, and the tiger's aim will hit the top of the snake's head. One slash will probably smash the snake's head. However, even if the king cobra bites the tiger, the venom will take time to kill the tiger. This could take anywhere from a few minutes to an hour or more. King Cobra, as we know, is one of the biggest venomous snakes, and its venom is primarily constituted by neurotoxins. An adult elephant can quickly die from a single lethal bite from this snake. Furthermore, it is known to inject a huge amount of venom into the victim's body. As we know, the tiger, like all the other mammals, doesn't have any mechanism inside its body to fight off the effects of the venom. Therefore, it would be right to say that an adult tiger will easily die off a king cobra bite. In 2014, a black cobra killed a white tiger in its enclosure at Indoor Zoo on Saturday after a fight that left the snake paralyzed. Rajan, a two-year-old tiger, was discovered unconscious, bleeding from the nose and foaming at the mouth by zoo staff on Saturday morning. Despite the fact that doctors were rushed to the area, he was pronounced dead. A post-mortem investigation demonstrates that the tiger died as a result of a snake bite. Number 5. Anaconda Tigers adore the water, but the anaconda is an aquatic snake. Thus, the tiger would probably lose a fight in the water. It also depends on what they are fighting for. If it's for love, tigers often fight harder. Realistically, I doubt a tiger would try to hunt an anaconda, and I doubt an anaconda would go after a tiger either, but if they were to fight, the anaconda would most likely win. Green anacondas are 10 to 17 feet long, 3 to 5 meters, and reach up to 20 feet, 6 meters, and they weigh up to 500 pounds, 226 kilograms. They are known to prey on tapirs, capybaras, and caimans. They can resist bites from jaguars and caimans, which both have bite forces of around 1,000 psi, roughly equal to that of a tiger's. Snake skin doesn't cut or bleed as easily as human skin, but that will still include this. So, although it will be hard enough to catch the tiger in a deadly grip, if he manages to immobilize the tiger's head and paws, the fight is over. Number 4. Black Mamba A fully grown elephant or any other large mammal, such as lions, tigers, and occasionally people, can be killed by the majority of venomous snakes in Africa and Asia, including mambas. As a result, very few animals, such as mongooses and hedgehogs, which prey on poisonous snakes, are immune to the venom of snakes. Consequently, a large animal like a tiger will undoubtedly die from the venom when bitten by a deadly snake like a black mamba. 
Even a dose of 15 to 20 milligrams of their poisonous venom can be fatal. However, they can inject up to 280 milligrams when they attack. The fact that the snake's poison is exceptionally quick-acting is another factor in its widespread dread. Its venom can occasionally kill a human after a bite in as little as 20 minutes. Number 3. Reticulated Python If a green anaconda can do that, then a reticulated python has a chance. The chances of killing the tiger are much lower in the case of snakes that kill by constriction than one that kills by its venom. Python has a 14 psi pressure capacity. Any internal biological organ could be crushed by this force, which is fatal. In order to constrict the prey around their most vulnerable region, which is the stomach, the python is agile enough around its neck and will occasionally purposefully expose that area. If he manages to gather well enough, the tiger will panic and run out of air. The fight will be a tough one, but the python's chances will increase even more if he fights an inexperienced young tiger or an old and sick one. Number 2. Inland Taipan The Inland Taipan is one of the most venomous snakes, meaning just a teensy bit of its venom can kill prey, even a tiger. When the Taipan does feel threatened, the snake coils its body into a tight S-shape before darting out in one quick bite or multiple bites. The main ingredient of this venom, which sets it apart from other species, is the hyaluronidase enzyme. According to a 2020 issue of Toxins Journal, Novel Strategies for the Diagnosis and Treatment of Snake Bites, this enzyme increases the absorption rate of the toxins throughout the victim's body. Being the snake with the strongest venom in the world, surely a single bite would easily kill a tiger. Number 1. Titanoboa Think of the biggest snake that has ever existed. Unfortunately, or fortunately, it no longer exists. It is roughly 42.7 feet, 13 meters long, and weighs 1.25 tons, 1,135 kilograms. Despite having a size on its side, the Titanoboa was essentially useless on dry land. It was difficult to move about because of its size. For it to be able to move, being in the water was essential. The Titanoboa will be too large and muscly with thick, flexible skin for the tigers to do real damage to it. But it will also be too large to move to keep up with the tiger to any reasonable degree. In the water, however, the Titanoboa should be able to deal with the tigers with relative ease. If it would be a little difficult for an anaconda or a python to do this, the Titanoboa would definitely kill the tiger easily. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.